I really think that God intended me to be an astronaut and to do spacewalks because it was second nature to me to get into a spacesuit and go outside and, and do what I had to do. I was uh, born and raised in Northwest Indiana. My hometown was Crown Point. Enjoyed living in the country as a young kid and growing up. By the time I was in the fourth grade, I knew that it was Purdue engineers and scientists that were involved in our country's very early parts of the space program effort. And so I decided in the fourth grade that I was gonna to go to Purdue, that I was going to become an engineer, and that I was gonna get involved in our country's space program. And I uh, chose mechanical engineering. It was one of the best choices I've made in my life, I think. It's what really prepared me to go out and uh, to hit the, the street running with uh, my professional career ahead of me. When I first said I was, uh, was gonna try to get into the space business, it was more along the lines of helping to build and launch rockets and satellites. I started to think that maybe pursuing an astronaut career was something that might be feasible. Mission specialists were gonna be engineers, scientists, medical doctors, those types of people. And you did not have to be a military pilot and test pilot to qualify for that. So that was uh, right down my alley. It sounded like something that was fascinating to me. Not as a pilot, but as an engineer, going through the same academics and flying in the airplane with a test pilot to help conduct the, uh, the flight tests and record the data. Almost everything I did throughout my entire Air Force and NASA career was directly uh, tied to my academic career here at Purdue. When I first showed up on active duty at, at, at uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, when they learned that I was a graduate of Purdue University, they opened their arms and welcomed me very quickly to, uh, because they had had other Purdue engineers who had gone there and had done great jobs for them. I worked basically throughout my entire career in spacewalking activities and became uh, very experienced at that and was one of the leaders in deciding how we were going to build the International Space Station and to uh, help to figure out what training uh, facilities we needed, what tools we needed, the tech, developing the techniques and checklists and procedures. And, and uh, I think that's probably one of the most uh, rewarding aspects of my entire NASA career was helping to, to work with the team and to lead the team of, of astronauts and engineers that did all that work. And I'm extremely proud that uh, the entire assembly of the International Space Station went so smoothly because of all of the preparatory work that we put in to uh, and the attention to details we did in getting ready for the assembly of the station. We had a total of 23 uh, Purdue graduates who have flown or are getting ready to fly in space. Scott Tingle's getting ready to go and I'm rooting him on. When I was getting ready to retire, I asked Scott to uh, be my pilot to take me up on my one last gee whiz flight in a T-38. And, uh, and I think he enjoyed doing that and I certainly enjoyed flying with him. I feel uh, very strongly that my Purdue mechanical engineering uh, education is what made the difference for me in my life. I was just a, a normal kid growing up in Northwest Indiana. I took my, my uh, education very seriously and, and I think it gave me the basis and the push that allowed me to go enjoy such an exciting career and being able to, uh, to do things for our country in such a unique and, and fascinating way. If things are really of something that you really want to do, then you ought to try harder, you ought to try repeatedly, and don't give up too easily in the pursuit of those goals because they're lofty goals most likely and they're something that's certainly worth working harder to attain.